2017 this when he posted this to his Insta. <laughs> this picture right here is literally iconic, bro. Huh? 50 cents Ferraris, they were rented. Robbie Williams' oh, castle home, shoot. it belonged to someone else. That MTV boy Sunny V2 exactly was back, boy. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house. No, it's all lies. Oh, that's and JoJo. nothing shows this better than the episode with Ja Rule. Damn, this quality is Freaking crazy, bro. <laughs> he flexed his five bedroom mansion on Star Island in Miami, where he talked about living beside other famous celebrities. The house was Not so Diddy. familiar that Ja Rule named each area, Diddy. calling his courtyard the open paradise, which was patrolled by his guard dog, Cookie. It was shown in the intro that the property was a rental, rental but this was assumed to be on a long term basis, given he knew almost everything about the mansion. However, as it turns out, Ja Rule's house on Cribs was actually a four day rental, which was oh, exposed shit. in the most embarrassing way by oh. a lawsuit. Jarrell paid 46,000 for the four day lease, promising the mansion's owner it'd be used as a private home for eight adults with no video shoots and no loud parties. Well, Jarrell broke all three conditions, shooting his Yikes. ATV episode whilst having a party with over 600 people. <laughs> in the process, <laughs> The original YN. No, let me do it. Also punched in the walls. Oh furniture my gosh. and doors were damaged. The driveway somehow Dog. cracked, while condoms and syringes were left throughout the house. Syringe? As a result, Ja Rule and TV were sued for a million dollars. But at least it looked like a house that Ja Rule would live in, as the Ying Yang twins crib was laughably out of character. The Atlanta <laughs> gangster rapping duo opened the door, suburban revealing home. the most suburban house, <laughs> filled with fish tanks, sailing boats, and sea related artwork. <laughs> Young gangsters with this shit in your house would be fucking wild, bro. It's like, bro, what, what is this, dog? This ain't your house, bro. Waving. We waving like we waving. We decorated this ourselves now. That mansion was definitely decorated by some old white people, not the yin yang twins. Literally. This is clearly just a random old white guy's house that likes to fish and likes boats. That Literally, bro. That's, 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 that's exactly what it looks like. And had to improvise names for each of the fish. You can tell. Not gonna lie, bro. That Loki looks like a, a Connecticut home by the beach. Not gonna lie, bro. King Yang twins have never been in that house. It seemed they at least owned the vehicles at the end, Hopefully. as the cars displayed by Bow Wow were rented for the show. He was just oh, 18 brother. years old during his first Cribs appearance, but despite having- I was just about to say, they're using this picture of him from Tokyo Drift. starred in some high-profile <laughs> movies, it seemed unrealistic that he could afford a six-bedroom mansion and a fleet of luxury cars. Oh, yeah. With his name airbrushed above his bed, it seemed as though Bow Wow at least owned the house. Although the luxury vehicles were a little more suspicious, because two years later he'd go on the show again, during which a viewer made an observation. Uh -oh. We had MTV Cribs running in the background and watched 21 year old Bow Wow show off his bachelor pad in Miami, along with his pimped out Bentley, Lamborghini, and Cadillac Escalade. But then we noticed the word prestige at the bottom of all three cars and decided to Google prestige rental oh, cars Miami, shit, and Bow what wow. do you know, there it was. Prestige was the name of the company. That Bow Wow rented Ain't the cars from, with the Bow wow which was likely meme? encouraged by the show, as Birdman also used the service during his appearance. Regardless, people clowned on Bow Wow, stating, "Ha ha ha! I wonder if he rented the condo too." Which, by looking at his life, was also highly likely. For example, he'd post his Ferrari to his Instagram, <laughs> writing, "Take the drop top to the night spot. Keep the California in California. We went hard tonight, Grammy weekend." Which was then reposted by a car rental company who oh, accidentally shit. exposed our good friend Bow Wow pulling up to the Grammys with our Ferrari California. Oh One year my. later, it was exposed for flexing this a rented Hollywood mansion. From. But the worst example was in 2017 this when he posted this to his Insta- <laughs> Nah, this picture right here- this picture right here is literally iconic, bro. This picture right here is iconic, bro. This is where the meme started. He showed the private jet he was taking to his concert, yet the very same day this Snapchat went viral. So this guy Lil Bow Wow is on my flight to NY, but on Instagram he posted a picture of a private jet caption traveling to NY today, shaking my head. Turns out Bow Wow's picture of his private jet had been taken from a limo company's website, prompting people to dig even deeper, discovering 
considering he'd done this on more than one occasion. It seems his MTV Cribs episode led to years and years hey, bro, of faking why? luxury, but as mentioned in Bow Wow's expose, 50 Cent had done a similar thing. 50 Cent's why? episode was the definition of excess. He showed his 19 bedroom, 35 bucks. This was in Connecticut? Get the hell out of here, bro. Through Mansion, which included a squash court, movie theater, recording studio, and its very own nightclub. Equally impressive was his car collection, uh. which included four different rare collectible Ferraris, leading him to state... I know you didn't see these before when you was watching Chris because... Anybody ain't got these. Yet it seems 50 Cent didn't have them either. <laughs> Anybody ain't Each got Ferrari these. had little numbers on their windshields, leading to a forum oh. post reading. If you notice the small white numbers in the top left hand corner of the windshields on the F50 and Enzo, those are the numbers of the cars that were in the Hartford Concorso Parade, which was confirmed when the user posted these photos. Damn. Another forum member added, it's pretty obvious that they aren't his, because it's a known fact that there's only one yellow Enzo in CT, which was mm -hmm. owned by a pretty well-known hedge fund manager. Well, someone else then officially confirmed. The Ferraris are Shout unfortunately not 50 cents. He invited my friend over to his house for this, and my friend let him use his cars for the episode, and they were filming some music videos that day as well. The Enzo F50 and 599 all belong to one owner. When 50 Damn. Cent later filed for bankruptcy, he'd admit the cars were rented. He'd instead pay off debts by selling his mansion, therefore joining the likes of Jojo, who admitted to doing MTV Cribs while she was actually homeless. Jojo showed MTV through her Cape Cod vacation home. What? You did a show about Cribs? Or being homeless? That where make... she supposedly loved spending her summers. It was therefore a little weird that she'd invite her extended family, but she'd reveal the reason for this exactly 10 years later. Jojo was asked about the episode in That's a crazy. Huffington Post interview, to which she'd respond it was so ridiculous. The thing is we didn't have a home at that point. My mum and I were living out of suitcases and were mostly in hotels. But so that like was famous... actually my uncle's house on the Cape. That's that wasn't so my they house. Get, that got wasn't her on my stuff. Deal. I I should have bought hard and been like, welcome to my crib, look at how luxurious it is, and I should have rented out a place. But no, I just used my uncle's crib. Jojo further clarified. So we went to the Cape, which I've like never been to the Cape. I like never go to the Cape. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house. No, that was not my house. We brought in some like items that I had. It's just... It's all lies. Should also answer the question. Why even bother doing the episode then? <laughs> no, Money. For the exposure. Oh, uh, okay. But no episode was faker than the one by Robbie Williams. He showed MTV his massive British castle, oh, talking boy. about the spots where he'd been snapped by paparazzi. <laughs> he then shows his group of friends before making a joke. I don't really know these people, but what I do is I actually phone rent a friend. But apparently he'd also That's phone so rent true, a castle. It? You oh see, the gosh. building was so big that people recognized it as the famous St. Catherine's Court, which was owned by someone else completely, Jane Seymour. This she had no crazy. idea that Robbie ever went there or that he'd hired a fake butler to help out with the shoot. It wouldn't be until 17 years later that Robbie finally admitted, we didn't let Jane know that I was gonna pretend it was my house. And because I was like 23 and full of spunk, I didn't even consider other people's thoughts or feelings. Yeah, so yeah. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to Jane Seymour but it might not have even been Robbie Williams' fault. Because Redman explained in a DJ Vlad interview that MTV tried to get him to rent a house for cribs. They wanted me to rent a house so I could open the big double doors and shit like, yo, look at my shit, you know. With MTV <laughs> trying to choose the home themselves. The first thing they asked, they said was, all right, we got a couple of houses picked out for you. Wow. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, Redman simply refused. And I said, you know what, no. I don't want to rent a house. I want y'all to come to my house. Accidentally making the show's most relatable episode. He brought MTV Cribs to his two bedroom apartment That's where crazy. he ironed his shirts on the floor and flexed his frozen fish fillets. Redman's recording studio was just a messy bedroom whilst the rest of his house was in such disarray you could barely notice his cousin sleeping on the ground. He concludes the episode That's stating, next time y'all need to find me, just rub these two wires for the doorbell. Don't worry about the screen too. Uh, you know it's still good. The realest episode of MTV Cribs. Redman didn't fake it like other celebrities. All those MTV shows was fake, bro. Cribs, uh, Pimp My Ride. Yeah, bro. That's just, we, we just figuring this shit out all the time, bro. Just saying, dog.